Hello guys, Minerva here. I think I'll put this thing over there. So, today's Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. I have a little haul I received yesterday in the mail. And then in a separate, what I'm going to do today is weed uh, something that I made with the Cricut. Uh, so I'm going to put the camera down. I'm going to need my pad again. My, I keep getting this. There. So, let's zoom in. Oops. I guess I didn't bring my camera down far enough. I think that's good. Sorry about that. So yeah. Oof, it's so hot to be. So anyway, I got uh, my camera. This is like a generic GoPro. Because <laughs> it said sports camera, but and it looks just like a GoPro, but it isn't. So this is the case. I already got the, uh, the tripod the other day. Let me try and open this. Now, so let me. There you go. I saw a video by Missy, Do What You Love, and she had one of these cameras. And I tried to buy one from a vendor in the States, but he wouldn't ship to Puerto Rico. That's nice. And so I looked it up and uh, I think it was Wish, W-I-S-H, and he, they shipped it for me with no problem. <clears throat> so here it is. It took a while though, but not too long. I, I don't think it took two weeks to get here. So we charged it last night and... It'll be ready to go. I'm going to see if I can get to the beach and do some snorkeling. We'll see how it works. You can take pictures with this. It says it's a uh, high definition. And what else? So this is an airtight, waterproof case that came with it. Uh, Missy got hers for sixteen ninety something, I believe. And I think that's about how much it cost mine, and I got free shipping. So if you're interested, go check out <coughs> Wish. You can search it as a GoPro sports camera or uh, sports camera. And it got all these, uh, came with all these accessories to clip on a bike, a helmet. I'm going to try to clip it on my uh, snorkeling mask. This one is the one for the bike or any kind of tubing right here. And here's another mount. It has different kinds of mount mounts. My tripod, since it's already made for a, a GoPro, already has this little uh, thing that you attach it with. This one. And it had this little manual. Let me see if I can. It's in English. You can set the date and everything. And you can record video, playback. Capture video photos. And it has a little, uh, you can, a little slot for a micro SD card. Compatible with H16 and 32 GBs. Capacity micro SD. And SBXC. And all that. Oh, and it has the uh, wire, the 
Yeah, the wire to charge it. I left it in the living room. So, can't wait to try that. Hopefully, we'll get to the beach this weekend. Let's see how the weather is. There are two beaches where you can go and there's nice clear water most of the time. So that's that. And then I got my order in from Scrapbooking With Me. I've ordered from them a couple of times. They have very fast shipping and she always has the latest uh, things in. Uh, she posts videos. I'm really happy with her uh, her company. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is kind of funny. I think it's the uh, you know sinus, all the stuff in the air. So I uh, can't wait to try this. This is a rooster. Sorry for the glare. And it's one of those uh, layering stamps. So, when I get all the colors I need, you know, get get the stuff ready, I'm going to try imitating my rooster's colors. <coughs> so I got that, and the main thing I went in to get was, she has a subscription, <coughs> and she also has an add-on kit and a subscription kit. A monthly kit. So I went in and she still had some of these uh, add-ons and I decided to get the add-on because it had the things that I I wanted. Let me get this tape out of here. So it came with four inks, Hero Arts, four cubes that coordinate with the the paper she picked for this month. Very pretty color. Soft cantaloupe, pool, wet cement, and soft olive. Very pretty colors. And the reason I got it is because it's a, a sea theme. And I'm into that right now. That's why I got the Central Pay collection. By the way, Frank Garcia already announced a uh, fall collection. I think it's called Amber Amber Rose or something like that. Beautiful. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it came with these stamps. Family, always so happy, love, blessings. Some uh, baker's twine. I <laughs> couldn't think of the name of it. Baker's twine and the colors teal or blue gray. Beautiful. And look at these cup of sequins palettes. And it just doesn't have a, a craft medley cup sequins. <coughs> look at those colors. Isn't that pretty? Let me take this off. Nah. I hate when they do this. Anyway, I have to take them out of here and uh, put them in my sequin little storage thing. Now it's going to stick to my hand. So there. Aren't those beautiful? I'm thinking shaker cards. Or a shaker thing. Isn't that pretty? Let's see if we get the, all the colors. Look at this one. It's beautiful. Love it. Move this on the floor. And here are the, ta the papers for this collection. <coughs> I don't know if the, the main kit has the same 49 market papers. Uh, 12 by 12 and uh, but uh, this one has sand and sea 8 by 8 collection pack to each of nine double-sided sheets 
Okay, oh, beautiful. Look at that. So pretty. These are eight by eight. I can't flip them. Through. It's very um. And look at this. Isn't that pretty? I was telling my hubby, I don't know <laughs> which side to use because I love the, I love this, but I also like uh, uh, the lighthouses. I love lighthouses. Look at that. Ugh. That would probably go in the cover of a book. So I'm going to, let me just zoom in so that I don't have to bring it up. There. <clears throat> so this is the first page. Look at that. This is the other side. One of those uh, plank, wood planks. This is like the bottom of the sea scene. It's got starfish. Beautiful colors. That's the back side. Look at this one. Seahorse. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? There's another one. It's got beautiful blue colors. <coughs> it's like the effect you would get using those uh, Tim Holtz oxide, Destrux oxide inks. That's what it looks like. There's a lighthouse. Let me see if it's the same one. Yeah, it looks like it is. It's got that little house. But it's later in color. There's another lighthouse. Yeah, one of those uh, birds, what are they called? No, they're not storage. Forgot. Looks like a blue crab. <laughs> and I think that's it. Now they're repeating the. Yeah. Two of each. Two of each. Love this. So that's the uh, add-on kit for July at Scrapbooking with Me. What did I? Okay, I'm looking for this. I'm gonna put this out of the way. And I sent for these. I couldn't find these here. They probably have them at a scrapbook store, but I always check, uh, you know, nearby the town next to mine, like Walmart or Capri. The ones they have are those black, thick ones. These are very uh, thin. These are from uh, Basic Gray. They're very strong. These are what you use in the books or anything. You have a little flap or something that you want to use a magnet on. And I got the Sparks Acrylic Paints by Prima and Magical Pond. I'm slowly building up, buying the colors of these uh, Magicals and I mean these Sparks. These are like a very, very fine sparkly glitter paint. <coughs> Maybe I'll show you what they look like. No, I opened it on one side yesterday. Uh, 
I know I got some on mine now. <laughs> See that? So I'm just going to spread it. Look at that. Got this color so that there. It's not focusing. It's a nice sparkly blue, light blue. Perfect for, uh, you know, beach uh, themes or painting or whatever. I can also use these on the molds, the IOD molds. Maybe on my nails too, huh? It stayed there. <laughs> So, um, next thing I want to try, I haven't tried the Nouveau Mousse, Embellishment Mousse. It adds some metallic dimensional details. It's like a paste, it's called a mousse, but it's, uh, it's a lot thicker than a mousse. You can use this with a palette knife, and it gives you a dimensional or you can use a brush or your finger. Beautiful color. <coughs> it's, you know, this is how it looks like. It looks like a paste. But it's very soft. But like I said, you can use it with stencil and a palette knife. And the color is... Hmm. Can't see the color. That's weird. Um, cosmic brown. That's what this color is. It looks like a gold, but it's a it's a cosmic brown. That's what it looks like. So that's my small um, haul. I think I'm gonna add in a project here, cause. You know, let me see. I'm in 17 minutes, so I'll go ahead and add my project share here. So I tried my uh, Kodak Verite uh, printer that I got from HSN from the, that sale they had. I want to type these. <coughs> I had a hard time trying to get it uh, to work with my uh, tablet, but I finally got it because uh, the only thing that I found is that the instructions, well, maybe, well, for me at least, they weren't clear enough, so I found a video, and I finally got it to work with my uh, tablet. And I printed out this card. Look how pretty it is. Uh, today I'm going to go ahead and try the feature where you can change these, uh, customize uh, sentiment. But look how beautiful that prints it. And it prints the front the inside and in the back it has the Anna Griffin logo there so uh, I'm going to try to personalize this message because I'm sending out a, a birthday card for a friend and I'm going to do that later I did try a couple of times as I I couldn't get you know get it straight get the instructions straight like I'm gonna show you a mess here, like here. Okay, I got the front right, but then I don't know what happened when I went to do the inside. Ta da! <laughs> I messed up there, but it takes you know practice. I also need to find a feature to make the envelopes because you can make the envelopes also using your uh, contacts. So what else did I? Oh, I did a print and cut of the of this uh, collection that I got, uh, Library One print and cuts from Anna Griffin. I make this uh, squid. Octopus. It's not a squid. It's an octopus. Look at that. <clears throat> that was a print and cut from the Anna Griffin Library one. And I also made a 
I'm gonna cut it today. I'm gonna uh, cut out an elephant from glitter iron on. And I'm going to use the bright pad to see how that goes. See how I can weave this with the this is a isn't that pretty? It's a glitter gold for a t-shirt. You can you can see the cuts a little bit, what you have to take off. But with the it's very hard with the bright pad, you can see it a lot better. And they have shown already these things in uh, Melody Lane or Ken's creations. This uh, this is a uh, let me get the <clears throat> this is an iron on and it's uh, I think it's glitter that's the what's what it's called glitter glitter iron on and uh, you cut it with the cricket. To find one that's not open. That's what it says, it doesn't say anything else. And, uh, <coughs> and then you have to weed it, which means you take off the parts that you don't need. See, it comes. Oops, this was in here. Oh well, I had to cut this in two parts because I didn't cut the right size. So this is supposed to be an elephant, um, an elephant hat. Um, I'm going to iron it onto a, a t-shirt. <clears throat> so that's what it looks like. It has a hard plastic and it cuts. It's called a kiss cut. Which means it cuts very lightly and it doesn't cut the, this plastic here. And you weed it, you just take out the parts that you don't need and you iron it on. But that plastic stays, stays there. You weed it and then you iron it on. And I'm going to try to quickly get out. Let's see if I can do this real quick, just to show you how I'm gonna do this. I'm plugging it into the computer, which is right here, and it's a lot faster. So there it is. Now you see that? I can see the ears and the trunk. Let me see if, what did I do? Okay. I think that's the brightest. But I, I can see the, the ears come down here. This is the trunk right here. And I see all the little parts that are naked. I'm supposed to put it this way. Maybe you can't see it, but I can. See that? See all those parts that look like they're sticking out? That's what I need to weed. And if anything, I just go like this. If I can't see it, I go like that. See how, how that pops up? And you can see a lot better. If I turn this off, look at I can't see anything. It's really hard to see it. So that's what I'm going to be doing, guys. So thanks a lot for watching. And like I said, if you're interested in any of the items I showed you, they're in scrapbooking with me. And uh, wish, www.wish.com. That's where the camera is from. So, guys, I'll see you in my next video. And bye. Bye for now. Have a nice rest of the week.